Hello there. This rifle made me famous, they tell me. Used it to bag two man-eating lions in Kenya a while back. Made a lot of news in London. But uh, most people don't know what I did in my career that meant the most to me. At the beginning of the Great War, I believe you call it World War I, Hundreds of Jews from British Zion had volunteered to serve. Not that anyone at Whitehall was asking them to. They did it out of a sense of patriotism. Frankly, the army didn't want the Jews, but the army did need support units. And so they formed the Zion Mule Brigade and put me in charge. These were brave lads. I pushed every way I could to get these men to the front lines, where they belonged, where they wanted to be. The war hadn't dragged on for so long and so many British lads had gotten killed, the boys in Zion would never have gotten a chance to show their stuff. But the army needed soldiers, and so they turned my mule corps into a full fighting unit. This was the first Jewish military unit in 2,000 years, led by a Christian. Imagine that. Imagine, too, the surprise in London when our boys started winning battles and proving themselves heroes on the battlefield. When uh, World War II came along, more than 5,000 young men signed up to serve under the flag of the Star of David. That's uh, when I became good friends with Ben Sion and Sila Netanyahu. They asked me to be godfather to their son, Yonatan. Even named him after me. And his younger brother, Benjamin, a sharp one. Of course, back then, no one knew that Yonatan would be killed rescuing passengers in a terrorist hijacking, or that Benjamin would become prime minister someday. Looking back, I don't believe what I did for Israel was that great, but some believe that if it weren't for me, there would be no Jewish state. I doubt that. Still, it's nice to be remembered so by such good friends. Well, thank you for our short visit. Good day to you all.